So it worked well for Bunnings and I guess the other place. Uh, no, we did that. The Weekend Herald wrote to all 10 retailers asking why they impose expiry dates. To impose means to put on. Okay? Imposed a $50 fine. You were caught speeding, caught drink driving, $50. Okay? It gives the idea you have no say in the matter. If something's imposed upon you, you have no say. Okay? Someone else is forcing you to do something. Okay? The sister imposed upon him for two weeks. What does that mean? She came and she stayed for two weeks. Okay. Stayed but was really not well. You're my sister, so I suppose I have to let you stay here, but I really don't want her. Okay? So impose upon some this is used a lot. Okay? You ever, you ever get a guest that comes to your house and plan, you, you, you're expecting them to stay here maybe one or two days and they stay there for a month? That's imposing. Okay? We call them bludgers. Okay? Bludger? Take but don't give away. Okay? You get that, you know, the guest, they stay and they eat your food, they use electricity, water, and everything like that, and there's no thought of, well, here's 50 bucks for the electricity, here's 20 bucks for that. One or two days is no problem. But if they're staying for a long time, then it can start to mount up. Okay? So we call them bludgers. Okay? Yeah, when my mother in law stayed with us in America, she gave us the food. Oh, her. <laughs> oh, when I was a young boy, uh, I had a part-time job in school holidays working in the post office, helping pack up my own stuff, and I was getting paid, but as soon as I got home, Mum, money please. Not all of it, but something. She says, who does the washing, who does the cooking, who buys the food, you know? So uh, we pay board, you know what it means, pay board? A lot of Kiwi kids used to, living at home, but they got a job, so instead of renting a house, they pay mum board. A token amount, not a lot of money, but just something here, here's $10, $20, $30 towards food or whatever. Okay? Uh, I don't Some think they do that. Some mum saved those money and oh, give bet. back to them yeah. later on. Mums are smart. <laughs> <laughs> mums are very smart, okay? That money goes into it's the drawer. Later, okay? yeah. The special mum's drawer, okay? For use at a later date. Um, I don't think it happens much these days now, okay? But they're used to when I was. You, if you stayed, lived at home, you paid board. It was accepted. It was accepted. Okay. Uh, and whether they would reconsider or think again about it. You reconsider something, you think about it again. Ticketek said, we are happy to listen to feedback, which means what? We're going to ignore what you said. Okay? <laughs> when, when, you hear, when you see statements like that, we're, we're taking your advice and we're think, thinking about it, you can generally forget it because nothing's going to be done. Okay? Okay. Maybe once in a while something happens, but generally not. So that's ticket tech saying, thank you, but we ain't doing a change, ain't making any change. Well, countdown, all those other places, okay, will consider Consumer New Zealand's request. Almost the same thing. Okay? Because they're, they're thinking what? What are these places thinking? Making money. Exactly. The bottom line. Making money. Okay? That's what they're in business for. Yeah. To make money. Not to be friendly to customers. Okay? Earlier this year, Dick Smith, uh, gift vouchers became worthless pieces of plastic following the, the appointment of receivers to the embattled electronics dealer, retailer. What happened to Dick Smith? Close. Went bankrupt. Okay? 
It's an Australian company, it had what branches here in New Zealand. I bought my TV from Dick Smith about five years ago. Nothing bought me. But they went broke, okay? And people had a lot of gifts, gift cards and gift certificates from them. Sorry, we can't redeem them. That money, that's money is taken by the receivers. Who are the receivers? If a company goes bankrupt, a receiver is re appointed. And what the receiver does, he gets all the assets the company has, the offices, the equipment, the merchandise they have, sells it and uses that money to pay off the creditors, to pay off the money that company owes. The creditors come first. You know, the banks, the people that are invested, they get their money first. Anybody else, if there's anything left, you might get something. If there's nothing left, you get nothing. And that's what's happening here. Okay? The receivers got Dick Smith's assets, sold them, paid off all the money Dick Smith owed to investors and to banks and all that, and then there's nothing left for the people with the gift certificates. So they paid $100 and they're not getting anything for it. Receiver James Stewart of Ferrier Hodgson said vouchers would not be honoured, would not be paid out, and deposits would not be refunded due to the financial circumstances of the company. No money, so you're not going to get anything back. Okay? So beware of gift vouchers. If you get one, use it. <laughs> use it as soon as you get it, okay? Because uh, I don't think much is going to change. I really don't think that. Much will change. If you leave it voluntarily up to companies, they're not going to change. Uh, they've got to be got to some law that makes them change. Okay, let's look at the little box here. Gift glitches. What's a glitch? Anyone tell me what a glitch is? It's an American word, but we use it. It's becoming more and more popular. It's a problem. A glitch is a problem. Can be anything, big, small. Something's not right. A glitch means something's not right. There was a glitch in the computer program. It wasn't working properly. Okay? There was a glitch in our travel plans. Maybe we didn't plan save enough money. Something that creates a problem. Okay? So this is a list of some of the gift glitches or problems. Okay. Con Consumer New Zealand says up to $10 million a year is unclaimed and expired gift cards. A lot of money. 77% of consumers regularly receive gift cards, very common. 50 to $70, the most common gift card value. 24% of gift card users have been stuck with a card they can't fully redeem because it's expired or the store has gone out of business. There's always that risk. Then you get a gift card for a particular store. A month later, the store's bust and you get nothing. Okay. The majority of customers unable to redeem a gift card and more than $20 still unspent. So, you know, they only spent half of the gift card or something like that. Still got 20 bucks sitting in the card. Okay, so be careful with the gift cards. My suggestion is use them as soon as you get them. As soon as you get them, use them. Okay? Any questions? Anyone been caught out? So, um, so this one means stores were asked not uh, it's a kind of passive form. stores is passive form <laughs> stores were the word is understood stores were asked to ask expire okay. yes yeah, it's, it's sort of passive who asked them we don't know but consumer affairs maybe whatever yeah, but it's a passive way and that's used a lot in headlines they've got to keep the lines short so they drop words and you go from the context as to what you're talking about. Okay? Questions? Okay, well, we've got time.